Hello friends, it's Jayma Malney and today I have a whole stack of scrapbook layouts. I have 32 pages to be exact and I need to put them in my albums but before I do I thought I would do one last flip through to show you all of the layouts that I've done over the last several months. Some of them have process videos, but not all of them do. So there's some new content here. And if they do have a process video, I will link that in the corner above, as well as in the description down below so that you can check them out if you missed them. So I hope that you enjoy and that you get lots of ideas for your own scrapbooking. Let's get started. Okay, for layout one, I've got this Easter Wishes layout. This uses the Daisy Meadows paper collection and stamps from Close to My Heart. I do believe that a lot of this is still available. There is a scrapbook process video for this if you're interested, and it focuses on layering and um, coloring stamped die cuts. So there are some close-ups of that. Okay, now we've got the what the duck layout. I still crack up every time I see this. I love all of the embellishing on this layout. I used a, um, a lot of layering and this does have a process video which talks a lot about the layering. So this uses the Jingle Joy collection from Close to My Heart, it was super fun to make. This layout, believe it or not, uses the same paper collection, the Jingle Joy paper collection, but there's a lot of black and white patterns in that seemingly Christmas themed paper. I love all of the texture and dimension on this layout. You can see the glitter stenciled hearts in the background. This does have a process video and it focuses on layering die cuts. So I share a lot of tips on layering up your die cuts on a scrapbook page. This layout doesn't have a process video, but it's just such a sweet photo. One of my favorite photos, this is um, of when I surprised my dad, flew out to California to surprise him after he'd been undergoing cancer treatment. And so it was just a, it's a really, really special photo and special page to me. It uses a Happiness Lives Here collection and it used lots of the stickers from there, the wood veneer embellishments, these are stickers that are popped up for dimension, some splatters, journaling cards. So that was a really fun layout to make. This layout has a process video as well. It uses the You Are Enough collection from Close to My Heart and some of the mix-ins. Check out that rose gold foil on the cardstock. I just love it. This is another special photo talking and my journaling talks about when I went to visit my dad and this photo was taken the same day that we got great news that he was in partial remission. So um, I love that our scrapbooking tells stories and looking at this photo, yeah, it's a great picture of my family, but the story behind it is even better. So that was another fun layout to create with lots of layering and fun die cuts. This two page layout came from a kit. It was two single layouts that did not go together and I meshed them together to make them work as a two page layout. This has a process video where I showed how that came together, but I love using Close to My Heart's Cut Above kits because they come with the die cuts already cut out, the pieces already cut to size. You can put them together as designed in the kit or you can kind of do your own thing, which is what I often end up doing. But either way, they always turn out really fun and come together quite easily. This is another kit layout from one of Close to My Hair's Cut Above kits, and I changed this a lot. I added a lot to it. This has a process video, so you can see that process come together. Um, there was no um, Elmo, there was no blue in the layout. There was, I don't even think there was yellow. So I added a lot of elements. This was supposed to be a sort of Christmas page. So that was a fun one. Here is a Captain America themed layout where I used Close to My Heart's Stars and Sparklers paper collection. And it's a patriotic collection and works perfectly for Captain America. I incorporated a lot of stamping and some star sequins. This does have a process video, so I'll link that here. Here are some more layouts from a cut above kit. These aren't necessarily meant to go together, but I just thought I would show them together. These don't have a process video, but they are from the Reasons to Smile scrapbook cut above kit. 
and that is still available, I believe, through Close to My Heart, at least at the time of this recording. And so I kept them pretty close to the design. I changed up some of the elements, like these little poinsettias were supposed to be on a different layout, but I used them on these because this was at Christmas time at the beach um, when we went to go visit San Diego, where our families are. This layout I just shared recently, and um, it focused on stamping, eight ways to use stamps. So make sure you check out that video because there are lots of stamped images on this layout, and it was really fun to um, see all of that come together and um, some good ideas to get the most out of your stamps so that you're not just using them for cards. I know most of us use card, uh, stamps for cards, but they are great for, stamp, for scrapbooking as well. This layout is part of the Blue Skies Cut Above kit, which is no longer available, but I do have a process video if you happen to have this kit or if you just wanna watch how it came together because I kept pretty close to the original layout, just made some minor changes, so it gives you some ideas on how to easily change up these Cut Above kits. This is the other layout that came in the Blue Skies Cut Above kit, which I changed a lot from the original. This is in the same process video as the last one that I just showed you. And so you can see how I just changed a little bit of the other layout and changed a lot of this layout. The um, Cut Above kits are also how Close to My Heart's scrapbook subscription comes. So you can get an idea of how those subscription layouts come together. This layout uses Close to My Heart's Hillside Cottage collection, and this is one of three two-page layouts I shared in a process video linked here where um, I put together the layouts from the catalog launch. So I just realized I still need to add my journaling here before I add it to my album, but um, go and watch that video so you can get an idea of the types of layouts that we create in a catalog launch. What's fun about this is I added this pocket plus insert, which allowed me to add six more photos to the layout. This just goes right in between the layout in your scrapbook. So I love these. I use them all the time to add photos to my layouts without interrupting the layout itself. Here's another layout using Hillside Cottage. This is in that same process video, but this has such a different look from the last layout. So let's look at some close-ups. I love these 3D flowers. They are awesome and they're gonna be retiring. The layered leaves are awesome too. And then we've got over here, I also added the little doily die cut under there, some hillside cottage and heartwood shapes. There's lots going on on this. This is the uh, simple serif alphabet, which is also retiring. So there's lots of stuff retiring that you may want to get your hands on. Um, I'm going to link to all of the process videos down below, by the way, and all the products that I used in here, if you're interested. This is a layout using the Sweet Safari scrapbooking kit that came out earlier this year. And I don't have a process video for this, although I did record it. I never got to posting it, but I was going to show you how to use up an entire scrapbooking kit. So these next several layouts are all gonna use the rest of this Sweet Safari scrapbooking kit. If you are interested in a series for these layouts of how to use up your kit, then let me know. Um, I just haven't had a chance to post, to edit and post everything amongst everything else that I'm posting. So um, I did alter it from the original quite a bit, like the original had you using this paper as the background here. I thought that was a little busy, plus um, my son was more toddler, not baby for these photos. So I just switched some things up and um, this kit is available still only, um, it's running low. So if you like the Sweet Safari scrapbooking kit, then make sure you grab that. This is layout two from the Sweet Safari scrapbooking kit. And again, I altered it a little bit to fit my photos um, and also to uh, get the most out of the paper so that I could use more on other layouts. So all of these stickers come in the kit um, these are stickers and then these are die cut out of the paper and they have a backer. So that was really fun. These were perfect for some photos of my daughter at the park. 
I realize I have a lot of missing journaling. I need to go back and add all that journaling before I put them in my scrapbook. This is the third layout from the Sweet Safari kit that's pre-designed for you. There's always three two-page layouts. I put this together mostly as design, and this one is in a page protector because I've got my flip flap on here already, and this is another great way to add more photos to your layouts. Um, but check out this fringe on here. The great thing about the scrapbook kits from Close to My Heart is they come with some exclusive die cuts that make it easier to put your pages together and really give it that wow factor without as much work. You do have to cut your own fringe, but all of these chevrons are already cut for you and the design is already done. Um, a simple change I made to this was to um, flip flop the um, background paper. So I use a little bit different paper, but I kept to mostly the same design. And then I added this um, Pocket Plus again. And I decorated it with some journaling and with uh, some stickers. And um, so that's a fun little way to add more photos again to your layouts. This is another sweet safari layout, only now this is the fourth layout I created with the kit. The design layouts are done. Now I'm starting to use up all of my leftover pieces from the kit because you get a full paper pack in it and you don't use the entire paper pack in the layouts that are provided. So this is one that I added. I added some stickers from my stash. I had some of the sweet safari stickers left over and then a lot of paper strips. And I thought it was really fun to add all of these photos of my son because he is so happy. Now these photos are from about four years ago, um, but he was just such a happy little kid. So I went through and pulled tons of photos where he was just smiling so big and titled this layout, Happy Kid. This is a single layout that I made with my Sweet Safari leftovers. So I had just a few little strips here left over um, that I strategically placed. Like I think this piece was shorter and I, it ends like right here and right here, but it makes it seem like it's coming out more. Um, I added some um, paper from the wood grain paper pack. So this background paper and this paper are from the wood grain paper pack. And then I had this sunshine um, title from my stash that I added. I added some splatters from uh, the Dana Wakely gloss sprays. And this was another fun layout to come out of some scraps from the Sweet Safari kit. Finally, I have one more layout from my Sweet Safari leftovers. I had just some little scraps here that would work um, with these floating pictures. I added some Distress Oxide ink um, smushing to the background to kind of resemble water. Um, some dots that I had from my stash kind of to resemble water or bubbles and then I just added my little strips to the top and bottom and then I cut out floating with the simple serif capital die cuts die set and um, I still have a little bit of the red polka dot paper from Sweet Safari and one sticker that's all I've got left but I'm hoping to use those up and kill the kit so if you're interested in seeing a series on that, then let me know and I can maybe try to start working on that. So there you have it, 32 scrapbook pages. I hope that they inspired you and gave you some ideas for your own scrapbooking. If you enjoyed this and would like to see more scrapbook shares, then let me know in the comments so that I know for the future as I finish more layouts. And I would love it if you gave this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.